Hi, Miss Justine here today, and with me I have a gold box. If you're familiar with children of worship, you might be thinking, hmm, that might be a parable. Well, the reason you might be thinking that is it's in a gold box, and parables are as precious as gold. It kind of looks like a present, right? And parables are like presents. They have already been given to us. We cannot buy them. We cannot steal them or take them. They are already ours. There's another reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. But when you lift the lid of a parable, there's something precious inside. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Once, there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. As they followed, he told them about a kingdom, a kingdom of heaven, but they did not understand. They had never been to such a place. and they didn't know anyone who had. They don't even know where it is or where it was. So one day, they simply had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard, which each person took and sowed in the field. And as it grew and grew into the greatest of shrubs and became a tree, so that the birds of the air would come. And as the birds came, they made nests in its branches. Well, I just love the parable of the mustard seed. It makes me wonder though, how something so small, like a mustard seed, can grow into a large plant. I wonder how big that plant is or how many birds could fit in it. Hmm. I wonder where the birds were coming from or what their names were. It also makes me think, I wonder if that plant were something else. Hmm. It reminds me that God's family may have started off very small like the mustard seed but each time someone shows or tells others about the love of God it grows and grows just like our mustard seed what a transformation speaking of transformation if you've picked up your Lent in a guide I'm sorry Lent in a bag kit inside will be a pamphlet with a guide to growing a bulb just like this one. Watching a bulb grow reminds us of the miracle of hope and transformation that is the promise of Easter. The bulb changes, decaying as it transforms into new life that we really can't even imagine when we plant it. Well, it's a little cold to plant our bulbs outside. So what I've decided to do is I got a vase. You can use a glass or um, maybe a spaghetti jar or salad dressing jar, whatever. I put some rocks at the bottom of mine. We'll want water to get to the roots, but we wouldn't want the bulb to sit in the water. I'm going to fill in with some rocks around the bottom of the bulb to help sturdy it, make it steady. And then I'm going to water it, making sure that the water doesn't reach the bottom of my bulb, just the roots. Well, after you've planted your bulb, you might want to take a look at it. 
and think, where is hope in your life? Hmm. Where is mystery? What transformation do you hope for during this Lenten season? You can talk about change. And you might want to reread the few verses of the parable of the mustard seed. It's not too late to pick up your Lent in a bag. And we hope that you do join us tonight on Ash Wednesday for our Ash Wednesday service at 7 o'clock in the John Knox parking lot. It will be social distance. We'll be listening to the service on shortwave radio and um, doing a self-imposition of ashes. Well, if you can't make it tonight, don't worry. You can still pick up your Latina bag. And I hope you join me each Wednesday as we go through the activities in our kit. Well, thank you for joining me today. And remember that you are not alone, that God cares for you. And so do we. Bye.